Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So a lot of people have been asking me why I was using a 41 minute clock for the sugarcane farm. A lot of people thought it's maybe a too long of an interval. Wouldn't it be better to harvest every 20 minutes or every 10 minutes instead? Actually, another trivial question, what's the perfect clock for a sugarcane farm? So you would expect the more frequently you harvest the sugarcane, the more items you would get. So here we got, for example, plants that are already three high. So that plant wouldn't make any more progress and we would harvest now, then it has a chance to grow. So is it always true that a clock with a shorter interval is more efficient than a clock with a longer interval? Right, in order to answer that, we're just gonna go to another creative world where I have a test setup. Okay, so what do we have here? So I prepared different harvesting areas for all the intervals. So at the bottom, we got a setup that would harvest the sugarcane every five minutes. So we just got a hopper clock that would activate a command block that would fill the blocks yeah, above the bottom sugarcane plant with air and the amount of removed blocks is yeah, saved in a scoreboard. Okay, so this would be the five minute test then above we have the 10 minute test, I got them for 15, 20 and so on, up to harvesting every 60 minutes. So the testers are placed about in the middle of the sugarcane field, so it's all getting random ticked. We're gonna do a quick tick freeze for the highest accuracy and turn on all the clocks and then we start the test. Okay, so here are the results. On the right we can see that the 5 minute harvesting interval definitely is the fastest we get about 10% more compared to the 10 minute interval. But here's where it gets interesting. Next we already have 40 minutes. You get basically the same amount of items if you would harvest every 40 minutes compared to every 10 minutes and only 10% less compared to every five minutes. Also, you would only create an eighth of the lag compared to the five minute version. So definitely is an argument for doing it every 40 minutes. Uh, I can also quickly take a look at some of the other numbers. I prepared a graph for that. All right, so this is definitely quite an interesting curve. So what you can see is that the race from five minutes to 15 minutes would decline. Then they go up again for 20 minutes, for 25 and 30 minutes, they go down again. And then for 35 and 40 minutes up again, even higher than the 20 minute mark. 45 is still quite good, almost the same as 40. And then starting from 50, 55, 60, the rates would go down. It's basically a linear process um, until it would reach zero. So it's also interesting, at 60 minutes, basically all of the sugarcane has fully grown. All right, so this is already some very useful information. Might have been interesting as well to see how much items you would get if you would harvest instantly. So this is not really practical for flying machine design, but there are a certain detection based systems that would harvest the sugarcane basically instantly. And this way you would get even more items than with five minutes. I could maybe set up something real quick and compare it with the five minute test. Okay, so I did a short test around five hours, but I think the numbers should still be fairly accurate. So we get around 13 to 14% more items if you do the instant harvesting compared to the five minute harvesting. But of course, instant harvesting is not really possible with a flying machine design. So there's still one question, what's actually the best clock interval for the sugarcane harvesting? So here with the test in five minute steps, I guess we can agree that 40 minutes definitely won this test in overall lag friendliness. Um, of course, not in terms of total items, but I would definitely yeah, suggest to use 40 minutes over five minutes, for example. It's just 10% difference, but way less lag. Um, then yeah, the question is, is 40 minutes actually the best? Or maybe it's actually 41 or 39 minutes. So I would assume that the maximum is definitely close to 40, but probably a bit higher because 45 minute number is close to 40 than, than 35 minute number. If you think about the graph, then yeah, probably reasonable to assume the maximum is probably around 41, 42. Okay, so we're gonna do another test, the same again, uh, but this time with one minute steps around the 40 minute mark. All right, so same procedure here in a different testing world. I had to test this for actually very long time to get some good numbers because as you can see here, the numbers are really close. Um, so here we got 8.7 million items for 41 minutes and for 38 minutes we got 8.58 million items, really close to each other, only about 1.3% 1, 1 difference. Um, so I had to test it for around 400 hours to get some good numbers, of course I was using TickWalk but it still took quite some time, game was running about 30 times faster. 
Right, so 41 minutes seems to be the closest to the maximum. We still don't know exactly where it is. Could again only use the same logic since 42 minutes, so the number for the amount of sugarcane is closer than 40 minutes um, to the to the 41 minute mark. So I would assume probably the maximum could be around 41 minutes and 10 seconds, but it definitely shouldn't matter at all in any scenario. Um, would be maybe interesting if somebody could actually calculate that. So yeah, I'm not really an expert in that field. Um, this would be a bit too advanced for me to calculate. Uh, so that's why I did just the normal testing here in the Minecraft world. But we got a fairly good result. Oh, I almost forgot. You probably want to have yeah an answer why 40 minutes is actually really close to 10 minutes when it comes to the sugarcane harvesting. So I've known about this issue for years, but was just recently reminded again of it uh, when somebody named Dr. Plasma tweeted at me, that also made me aware of the sugarcane issue again. So I already knew about it, um, but finally had some time to make a video about it as well. All right, so the reason is basically that if you would harvest a sugarcane that is at the second stage, you lose a lot of growth stages. So the way sugarcane grows is it has 16 growth stages. So every time a random tick would select a sugarcane, it advances one growth stage. So if it does that 16 times, then it would grow the next sugarcane plant. Okay, so if a flying machine now comes by and harvests this too high sugarcane, you potentially lose up to 15 growth stages. So it could be that sugarcane was about to grow, only needed one more random tick, but this got removed and uh, now it starts from zero again. Um, so I guess it's obvious um, why harvesting every 10 minutes might not be that great because then you have a lot of those too high grown ones and you lose a lot of those growth stages. So on the other hand, if you have a three high one, then of course you also lose um, growth because it's just fully grown, there are no more growth stages. So it's just about finding the sweet spot between harvesting too often or not often enough. So it's definitely so around this 41 minute mark, in my opinion. You get the same rates as with 10 minutes. And of course, yeah, five minutes is still better. But as I said, it would be eight times the operations that need to be done to get 10% more items. In case if you compare to the instant one, then yeah, it is about 25% more you get this way. But uh, as we can also see, uh, harvesting every 40 minutes is just 25% less efficient as doing it instantly. It's actually a pretty good number. All right, so I would assume most of you didn't know about the perfect clock time for a sugarcane farm. Hands up in the comments if you already knew. But you might also be wondering if this might also be interesting for other crops or plants to grow in Minecraft. Is there also a perfect clock time for a melon farm, for example? And in case of the melon farm, the answer is no, because it doesn't really have growth stages. So either the melon grows or it doesn't. So you wouldn't lose any growth stages if you run the flying machines through. So the more often you send the flying machine, the more items you get. So this scales very linearly. Um, same would go for twisting vines. Cactus actually works similar to um, yeah, the sugarcane. But most cactus farms would also harvest the cactus instantly. So you usually have some fence around. So. Yeah, that's how most cactus farms would look like. So if you would just uh, if you would have a flying machine based cactus farm, maybe um, then of course there is again a perfect time to harvest the cactus farm. Of course, most farms uh, use the fact that you can instant harvest the cactus very easily because it would just grow and pop off immediately. So yeah, flying machine based cactus farms are quite rare. On the other hand, there is something like a perfect clock time for something like a netherwood farm or a wheat, potato and carrot farm that isn't based on villagers. We actually covered it already in the Let's Play series. So I've already covered that, but I might make a separate video about it at some point. Right, so I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks guys for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.